Oh, I have another print failure on this machine. This happens to me on a few of my machines and I honestly think there is a super simple cheap hack that I can do to fix this common issue that you can find across multiple different types of 3D printers. And it all has to do with these stupid wheels that help level your print bed. Let's see if we can get this fixed and I'll share with you guys right now. Let's check it out. There we go. All right, I am back. I ran over to Lowe's really quick and I picked up these, I think they were M6 bolts. Uh, yeah, they're just threaded bolts here that you would typically use uh, with installing threaded screws into different components. Uh, but what we're gonna be using them on here is actually the beds here of your 3D printers. The problem that I have with this machine, as well as my Anycubic i3 Mega, as well as one of my CR10s, as well as, uh, I think it was the J Aurora A5, was that these stupid wheels do not stay on. That I will level the bed and one end or one side or multiple points here, multiple wheels will not have enough threaded bolt there for you to properly level this. So it ends up sitting at the very end and then it falls off mid print and it will last, it'll work fine for a few days, maybe even a week, maybe two weeks. And then all of a sudden I get a whole bunch of prints screwed up and I'm trying to troubleshoot why the heck isn't this level anymore. And I notice, oh, one of the wheels fell off the bed. So to alleviate this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick one of these bolts in here inside right nesting above the uh, or below the screw this uh, the screw the spring is going to sit on top of this bolt here and give it a little bit more leverage you additionally could purchase maybe some thicker bolts or double up on them if you needed that extra leverage and then i'm just going to re-level the bed and spoilers this works perfect because i've already tested this out by the way if i didn't mention already these are super cheap you can get them for like i don't know seven cents probably buy them in bulk and then mass put them on all of your three printers if you so wanted to. Uh, I also purchased these in a few smaller sizes as well because I know my Anycubic i3 Mega, the thread here that this needs to sit on or the spring is a little bit smaller than the ones that are used for the CR10. And this is the S4 uh, CR10 here. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is just remove the bed. All right, so after I've removed the bed, I wanna be able to get full access to the screws here, retighten everything where it needs tightening. Uh, I know that it was the front left-hand corner and the back right-hand corner I was having the most difficulties with. So, uh, in order to do this, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm just going to lift this up. Actually, let me zoom in here. All right, I'm gonna just lift this up with the spring with it. Slide that bolt in right back through the hole. Now the spring sits on top of the actual bolt then I can just go back through the process of reattaching the wheel to this particular post. So I also mentioned here on the Anycubic i3 Meg, I was also having the issue, I was having that same issue on both of the back bed springs or uh, level points there. So I just added two smaller bolts back there and now it levels beautifully and they have not fallen off since I put those on there. All right, so again, super simple tip here for you guys. And again, something that you can use for probably under 50 cents, depending on the number of printers that you have, the size of the bolts that you need. And again, all this is really doing is just providing some extra tension on those springs so that you can actually screw on those threaded bolts just a little bit more. Uh, I'm sure you could also replace those as well if you really wanted to with longer bolts there, but uh, yeah, this, this works just fine for me and I figured it would work great for you guys. I'm sure I'm not the first person that's thought of this and I'm sure I've saw it somewhere over the last three plus years, but I just really haven't seen anybody talking about this online and I want to share it with you guys. And it's a super simple, quick hack for your 3D printer. 
Hey, thanks again for watching, you guys. I will be talking with you guys soon, and I'll see you next time. That's it. That's all I can do. Two pull-ups. That's <laughs> pretty pitiful for me at my age. Uh, but yeah, just installed this. I'll have a video on this in the upcoming days here. I know completely not 3D printing, cosplay, video game related, but I want to share with you guys anyways because I think it's pretty dang cool. Oh, if anything, it's great for cracking my back.